Our exclusive postgame coverage continues with the Cougar Locker Room Show. TJ into a three left side. Good. Oh, man alive. What a shot from TJ Haas. Now let's head back to the Bryant Heating and Cooling Comfort courtside seats and join the voice of the Cougars, Greg Rubel. It is time for our Sport Court Courtside interview. We are talking tonight with Yoli Childs. Yoli helping BYU to a victory over Santa Clara tonight here at the Marriott Center. 80 to 74. Final score 27 points, six rebounds for Yo in 34 minutes of play. Yo, thanks for coming on and a good win for the guys. Congrats to you on the effort. And man, two home wins. Well, two home games, first of all, but two home wins seems to make a world of difference right now. Oh, absolutely. It's been so fun to get out here and, and play in this amazing environment in front of our awesome fans. And it's been so much fun, uh, and you appreciate it a lot more when you've been gone for so long. I'm sure when the schedule came out, you see, you know, five straight away games over 29 days, and you figure, well, we can handle it, we can get through it. In hindsight, man, it would have been good just to have a game or two of a pit stop here just to kind of resettle things in. It was a tough grind. Yeah, for sure. It was definitely tough, but uh, I think at the end of the day, it helped us a lot. I think it uh, I think it made us a little bit tougher and, and showed us the things that we really needed to work on. And uh, like I said, it, it really makes us appreciate being at home. Well, yo, great game tonight. Uh, it's fun to watch you out there uh, do your thing. I'm, I'm really impressed with both yours and the and the team's defense. It's kind of been a problem at times for you, and these these two home games have been terrific. Has there been a kind of renewed determination and energy and in, in to try to, to play good defense on this team? Absolutely. Um, I think there were there were times uh, earlier in the season where I was absolutely atrocious on the defensive end. There's, there's no other way to put it. Um, but it's one of those things where you have to look yourself in the mirror and say, what do I need to do to get better? So uh, I think a couple other guys have been doing this as well, but I, uh, I've been just working my butt off in practice, and then I go the next day and watch the film with Coach Lewis and look at the things I need to be doing better, especially on the defensive end. And I think that, that's helped me out a ton, and it's helped all the guys out a lot. Santa Clara came into tonight having won nine of the last 11, seven of eight. That's some good scores on that team, don't they? Oh, yeah, for sure. Uh, it's pretty crazy when they lose a guy like KJ Fagan and um, and they they have other guys just come in and step up. I mean their their guards were unbelievable tonight. Uh, I g- give a lot of credit to that team, especially with what they're dealing with with losing guys. I, I think they're going to surprise some teams this year in conference and knock some guys down. Well, Yoli, I think you're already unstoppable. But man, when you're hitting that three, that that just is just makes you untouchable and you had it going a little bit you even had a step back little jimmer three there <laughs> it looked like you were a little bit in the zone with not just your threes but but everywhere you had a nice touch tonight yeah that jimmer three i pulled right inside half court yeah, right? pretty much no, yeah I, mean, I think you were in the circle there <laughs> I, I think it helps out our team a lot if, if i'm able to stretch the floor and uh, make the defense guard me out there when they have to stunt and and come from the weak side to help on it i think it just opens everything up for other guys and uh, that, that's what I'm all about. I think it's it's important with my role on the team to just get guys open and, and make it easier for the other guys on the team. Our sport court courtside interview with Yoli Childs continues after this. We're taking a break. BYU 80, Santa Clara 74, your final score on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. This is the Cougar Locker Room Show on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Now back to the voice of the Cougars, Greg Rubel. Our sport court courtside interview continuing now with uh, Yoli Childs. Yoli pacing BYU to an 80-74 home win over Santa Clara. Cougs go to 9-1 at home now, 3-1 in the West Coast Conference. Most important thing now is league play, and BYU's in a good spot through one quarter of conference competition. Tonight, Yoli scores in double figures for a 25th straight game going back to last year. He's now made at least one three in four of his last five games. Biggest three of the night, though, belonged to T.J. Haas, yo. Three-point game, 74-71, 90 seconds to go, and T.J. sticks it from the right side. Unbelievable, unbelievable. Uh, T.J.'s so fun to play with, and uh, j- just what you see him do every day in practice, as soon as he got the shot off, I knew it was in. I mean, uh, the way he played tonight was unbelievable. Looking at it, eight assists, it was huge for us. He had a couple big steals, and... Uh, you can always count on T.J. to come in in the clutch at the end of the game, so it's awesome. The eight assists tie a career high for T.J. Haas tonight, by the way. And uh, another guy looking out on the court, 13 points tonight for uh, Luke Worthington, was very active, particularly in that first half. But what does he bring to this team? Uh, uh, he's got the starting job now, and you guys have gotten off to some nice starts recently. What, is, uh, what does Luke do to help that? Uh, Luke brings so much to this team. He, he brings so much that... Uh, isn't noticed uh, immediately. Stuff that you can't necessarily see if you're just a, a casual fan. The things he does are uh, he's always in the right spots on defense. He's always communicating. He's always talking to guys, helping guys out. 
Uh, he crashes the offensive glass. He moves dudes out of the way so other dudes can finish. He does so many little things, and uh, th- there's not a selfish bone in his body. Every single thing he does is for the team. All he cares about is getting a win. All he cares about is helping us get better. He's, he's unbelievable. He's probably the, the greatest leader I've ever played with. How nice was this week? It's a bit of a reset now, getting your feet firm at home, getting a couple of wins, going to 3-1 in the league before you head back out on the road for two tough ones this weekend. Oh, it's been awesome. It's been so nice to just be at home where – uh, all the energy's coming your way. You know, it's. Uh, I was joking with the guys after uh, the game on Thursday that it was kind of weird after, like, the first dunk to start the game when everyone started cheering. I was like, <laughs> I'm not even used to this. It's been a month. <laughs> so it was super fun to, to play in front of our fans. All right, great effort tonight by you and all the guys to get uh, this third win in league. And, uh, yeah, it just feels like a new uh, a new challenge is before you now as it's try to finish as high as you possibly can here in the West Coast Conference. Uh, Pepperdine on Thursday. Quick thoughts on the Waves. You're 2-2 uh, two and two in league right now. Uh, I think they're uh, they're a little bit surprising to, to what people thought they were going to do this year. Uh, they, they have a great coach there. They had a lot of good young players last year, and uh, they're going to be a tough team, and uh, they play well at home, so it should be really exciting. All right. It's uh, the only time we'll play Pepperdine this year. They will not come back here, but, hey, you get Malibu. So if you got to play Pepperdine just once, may as well get the game. Even though it's a road game, it's not bad going out there, right? Oh, absolutely. You get, a, you get to go out with a T-shirt on and enjoy life a little bit. We'll see you next week, yo. Thank hey, you. Hey, yo, you got a football team? Football team? NFL? NFL? NFL stuff? No, I used. I don't know if I should stay this on there. I used to. I used to like the Patriots until I saw Tom Brady kissing his kids. Like, <laughs> that was too weird for me. So it was no. a little bit uh, curious. It was a yeah, little much. Yeah, a little so, <laughs> so yeah, I don't have a team right now. But uh, my football team's always the Cougars. So that's all that gotcha. matters. And there's Cougars all over the NFL playoffs right now. Oh yeah. I mean, Daniel Sorensen got a win today with the Chiefs. Taysom, there's of course. KVN yeah. with the Patriots. Yeah. Uh, Taysom with uh, with the Saints. And who else am I forgetting? There's one more guy. Defensive back with. Oh, yeah, Michael Davis Michael with Davis. the Chargers. Yeah. yeah, there we go. So a lot of guys to cheer for. Yoli, thanks again. Good job. We'll see you next week. Appreciate you. Thank you. All right, that's Yoli Childs. That is tonight's Sport Court Courtside interview brought to you by Sport Court. Champions start here. Learn how to design yours at sportcourt.com. Coach's comments next here on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Deseret First just made me 